On the occasion of Taiwan's annual Indigenous Peoples Day, President Tsai Ing-wen issued a formal apology to the island's original inhabitants for the political, economic, and environmental exploitation they had endured over the past 400 years. Tsai also took the opportunity to announce the establishment of a governmental commission to pursue historical and transitional justice for the island's indigenous minorities. President Tsai Ing-wen appeared at the main entrance of the presidential office to personally welcome representatives of Taiwan's recognized indigenous tribes. After a ceremony, Tsai made a formal apology to the island's indigenous peoples. There's a book called The Complete History of Taiwan, and it's typical of Han Chinese historiography, in that it recorded Taiwan's history from the perspective of the more powerful groups. For this, I offer my apology to the indigenous peoples of Taiwan on behalf of our government. Over the past 400 years, every regime in Taiwan seriously infringed on the existing rights of indigenous peoples through the use of military force and the theft of land. For this, I offer my apology to the indigenous peoples of Taiwan on behalf of our government. Formerly, the government stored nuclear waste materials on Orchid Island without the knowledge of members of the Dao tribe who lived on the island. For this, I offer my apology to the indigenous peoples of Taiwan on behalf of our government. Tsai also put forth concrete proposals to help safeguard the interests of indigenous peoples. I want to officially announce that the presidential office will be setting up a commission to deal with the issues of historical and transitional justice for indigenous peoples. I will personally act as the convener of the commission in my capacity as the nation's head of state, and I will work with the representatives of each and every tribe in the collective pursuit of historical justice. The cabinet has already drawn up 32 measures in line with Tsai's promises to protect the rights of indigenous peoples in an effort to back up the new rhetoric with real change.